Hey ladies, so I know I look terrible right now. Um, yeah, I just look like I just came out of jail. But anyways, um, I'm just gonna show you guys what I do to blend my hair with the Ashley Hair Company hair, the Peruvian Luxe Rock and Curly. I use castor oil for my real hair and my heat protectant on my real hair. So I just use the castor oil to pretty much protect my hair and moisturize it. And then I used my um, heat protectant just to add a little bit of moisture because it does have um, vitamins and stuff in that specific heat protectant and it is by Dove I absolutely love it I actually got it from Big Lots which is surprising they actually have a lot of stuff there so I do recommend Big Lots especially for stuff that is cheap um, so yeah I'm just spraying that on my hair just to add a little bit of moisture to it um, and then I do add a little bit of water to my hair as well as you can see, I'm reaching over to get some water in my hands, and I'm just adding it just to add, you know, whatever I need to do. I already conditioned my hair, and it's already dried um, the night before, so that's why it looks a little scruffly and stuff, but I'm just putting my hair in a ponytail. This is what I do all the time. Um, half the time, my hair isn't really, you know, put in a specific way, but I do have a braid pattern. Didn't braid my hair. My mom braided it. I'm terrible at braiding. I still can braid my hair, but I'm just terrible and I want it to look a little bit neater. And so I just get my straightener. Um, it is on the lowest heat setting just because I don't like adding a lot of heat to my hair. And I'm just going to straighten my leave out. I don't have a lot of leave out and I did this on purpose. Uh, not having a lot of leave out really does help um, when you blend your hair. I'm not saying that having enough leave out is, you know, bad or anything or having too much is bad but for me blending is much easier when I have a tiny bit of leave out just because it blends seamlessly rather than having to blend all my hair and then having trouble of it having like a line of demarcation or anything like that you know so I do only have a little bit of leave out and the reason why that big old section of hair is out is because that's what I use to blend my hair with my other hair company's hair um, I do, majority of the time, I, when I braid my hair and put my hair in a U part, I do braid it in two different ways. I like to use two styles out of it. That's the way I can switch my hair really fast. So I have my leave out for my other hair and then I have my leave out for my Ashley Hair Company. So it's just a smarter way for me to deal with um, switching my hair around as I do all the time. So I'm just gonna straighten the rest of my hair and as you can see, I barely have leave out. I only, you know, put just a tiny amount just so that it covers, you know, the front section of my hair. So now I'm just taking my U part, I mean my wig, and it has the elastic band. I did purchase the elastic band from Walmart. You can just get it for 87 cents and it's like a whole yard for 87 cents. Um, so I got that and I'm just putting that on there and as you can see it already looks like it's my hair right now but I'm still going to pull out my leave out from underneath the wig. So as you can see I'm just slowly looking at it just to make sure that everything is right so I can line up everything perfectly. And so now all my leave out is out and as you can see I'm just taking the side sections out and just kind of working with it. Um, and as you can see, I really don't need a lot of leave out for this hair. Um, the way I made the wig is the way I wanted it, so I don't need a lot of leave out for this. And I'm just showing you guys the parting and everything. Um, for now, for this style, I really don't like parting it too much. I just like it to be like a flip over method. Um, and I accidentally figured out that I could do the flip over method with this. But um, I'm just showing you guys, if it is parted right now, how it would look. And so um, what I do, I don't really brush my hair too much when I have my leave out. Um, I just kind of finger comb it in just so that it blends a little bit better and it's all interlocked in there. Um, it's pretty much so easy and I do tuck my side pieces behind my ear just because it just looks a little bit more natural that way. But honestly, it's this simple for me. I don't really do too much when I do blend my hair um, because, you know, you kind of have to set it up. So... How I set it up is just I do minimal amount of leave out and I make my wigs as close as possible to the edge of the cap so that I won't have to blend my hair too much with it and it'll look seamless on the sides, in the front, um, and all of that. So I do bobby pin it and sometimes I do sew it. This time I did bobby pin it because I didn't really feel like sewing it until later. So I didn't sew it and I'm just adding my Jamaican castor oil on my edges just to match the shine up with 
um, the hair's luster. And so that's pretty much it, you guys. I don't do too much. Like, honestly, it that's it. <laughs> um, I really don't do too much. And I will show you guys the products that I use on this hair. Um, like I said, it's minimal for this hair. Um, I do detangle it when I do con condition it. And um, yeah, so I'm just swinging my hair around. As you can see, it's very seamless. All I have to do is, you know, flip my hair over finger comb it through and just flip it any way that I want and so yeah I have gotten so many compliments on this hair as I'm out and everything and people really do think it's my real hair it's crazy um, but as you can see I went from busted to gorgeous <laughs> I'm just saying it's, it's really not that hard so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time stay tuned to see what products I use on this hair um, and I may do a styling video, I'm not sure yet. So if you guys want a styling video, thumbs this video up and comment down below. God bless. And so these are the products I use. I use the Beautiful Texture Tangle Taming Leave-In Conditioner. And then I use my Nourishing Moisture Tresemme Naturals um, Conditioner. And then I also use a wide tooth comb that I got from uh, Target, I think. And then I use my Dove Heat Protectant. So that's it, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. God bless.